Okay, so in this video, we're going to be making the cube up here in the game uh, panel. So if you don't already know that, um, you just got to dock the panel over here on the right hand side. And we need uh, the target here is to make this cube appear in the game panel. And how we're going to be doing that is just through manipulation. All right. Manipulating the game objects that are already in the scene. So if you already uh, so if you haven't imported a cube yet, just go to right click create 3D object uh, cube. Select that and you'll find the cube. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this uh, up here. Sorry. Uh, so I'm just gonna remove this because there's already one cube over there. Okay. So th the way you navigate in the scene is through uh, some shortcut keys, or you can see these. Uh, buttons over here and the the options are like the hand tool the move tool rotate tool scale tool rect tool and move rotate or scale okay so main ones that uh, you want to focus on are the first four and uh, what I mean by uh, so if you press Q on your keyboard that's the hand tool selected if you press W that's the move tool selected if you press E, you see uh, the rotate tool, and you press R, you see the scale tool. So just remember Q, W, E, R. Okay. And suppose you want to uh, pan um, across the scene. So what you do is just uh, press Q, just press Q once, and then just drag it like that. Just left click and right, uh, just left click and just drag it like that. Okay, all right, and say suppose you want to move the game object itself, uh, press W and press Q, the game object that you want to, um, you know, uh, change its position and then just drag it like that, okay, around whichever axis that you want to. So you can see that we were successful in making the object appear in the game window, but there are some other things that I want to show you so that so let's just focus on that first okay so um, if you put it over here you can see the game object over in the window panel uh, over in the game panel and now what I want you to do is to shift your scene towards the cube okay and the way you do that is press Q and then drag it like that okay all right, so uh, in case you want to rotate it, just press E and then you can rotate it around whichever axis you want to. If you press the red one, it's rotating about the X axis. If you press the green one, it's rotating about the Y axis. All right, so um, if you haven't yet noticed, the position values and the rotation values are changing. Let's go ahead and change the scale value over here. And it's as simple as just select it and change it. Okay, so you know how to pan, you know how to move a game object, you know how to rotate one. Also, you know how to scale one. In case you mess up and you want the values to be restored to the original ones, you all you got to do is hit right click on transform component and then reset does, re, just reset. Or if you want to just reset the position, you can go ahead and click one of these. Reset position, reset rotation, or reset scale, whatever you want. So I'm just going to reset the whole thing. So that's it. Okay, so um, if you want to rotate around a game object, what you do is you press the Alt key. You hold the Alt key, rather. You hold the Alt key and then press the left click button hold the click and then move your mouse across okay and that's just uh, and that moves the whole scene like that I want to show you something interesting so let's suppose that the game object was over there all right and now you want it to appear in the game object rather than shifting the game object itself you can shift the main camera Okay, and the way I'm going to do it is that select the main camera, 
and then just press Control shift and F so it shows exactly what you're seeing over here in the game window as well okay and of course you can zoom out zoom in whatever you want to and uh, if you shift uh, if you press Control shift and F once again it'll you know uh, change the position likewise okay and suppose I want to see where is the directional light you just double click on directional light and you can obviously rotate it as well you get a cool effect like that and you kind of get a cool effect there but uh, let's let's just stick to uh, the original one so I'm just gonna reset it I'm just gonna reset the rotation okay I messed up I messed up something I'm just gonna leave it at 45 I guess that's that's fine Okay, anyway, we are just navigating around the scene, so it's it's completely fine. All right, so uh, I think in this video, you got to understand how to navigate around the scene. Play around, play as much as you want to play, get a new sphere and uh, see if you can make this uh, sphere game object pop up on top of this cube. If you can do that, then uh, at least you understand how to, you know, make stuff in unity and it's already like it's it's pretty much the basics of level design in unity so if, if you can do this that's a good job so in the next video i'm going to be showing you how to import an asset that you can actually use to prototype and make your own environment as you wish and that'll give you a good practice of this whole um scene navigation as well as the unity basics and you know just get comfortable with the whole unity interface all right and thanks a lot for staying till the end of this video cheers